Welcome back to the forum here at the Global Economic Initiative inside of the United Nations. And uh, again, I'm very honored to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Max Hooper. He is an author of several books and has an extensive background in corporate leadership. He co-founded Equity Broadcasting Corporation, which owned and operated 110 television stations across the United States. Dr. Hooper is a co-founder of Partners Capital Group down in Orlando, Florida, where they specialize in creating private capital transactions. He's involved in multiple global ventures and works with several international nonprofit organizations. Dr. Hooper also serves on several corporate boards of directors. Welcome to the stage, Dr. Max Hooper. Hello, I'm Max Hooper. And I've really, I just want to ask you a question. Have you ever wondered, do conversations matter? I'm not talking about conversations, big conversations, but just the little conversations with one person during the day or maybe a small group. Let me tell you about a conversation that I recently had. This group was in Utah. This is what they said. Victor Frankel was a Holocaust survivor. He was transferred to five different concentration camps during World War II. And one thing that he said and one thing that he observed was that there was one thing that you cannot take away from someone, no matter what. And that's the way that they choose to react to a certain situation that they're involved with. Even when people knew that they might die within the next hour, two hours, many chose to love, to lift others up, and to offer care and compassion. Victor Frankl was quoted all over the world. He wrote Man's Search for Meaning, which is many, many people think in the last hundred years was one of the top 10 books written. One of the things that he said and was quoted for, he said that in America, you have freedom and you have liberty. He said that you could lose that freedom because with freedom and liberty, you must have responsibility. He said, just like there's a Statue of Liberty on the East Coast of the United States, he proposed that there would be a Statue of Responsibility on the West Coast. Because freedom, enduring freedom, comes with responsibility and liberty. I have to say, when I was talking with this group, I was, I was breathless. I couldn't quite understand it. But their purpose, they said, we formed a foundation. We're going to raise money to build the Statue of Responsibility on the West Coast. Incredible, incredible conversation I had. The next one, the next conversation that I had left me on the edge of my chair. This group was in Orlando, Florida, called the Dream Builders. Men and women that dream really Big, I mean big. So I started talking with them and I asked them, really, what, what are you working on? They said, the young man steps up and he says, have you ever seen a bird in flight? The sunset come up, the stars, the galaxies, the incredible ocean, the weather that moves around the world, the creation, the nature that we're involved with. What we want to do is we want to affirm and applaud the creation and the creator. They said, if you think about it, if you were in New Zealand and you saw the sun go down in a 24 hour period of time through all the time zones around the world, it would impact every country. So they propose one day a year in a 24 hour time segment to let everyone in the world that would choose to take it a moment in their own way to affirm and applaud the creation and the creator. If you think about it, if you have like a billion people in hundreds of countries all aligned and affirming, how incredible is that? And that lifts the spirit of man. Had another conversation. This is with a young man from New York. He grew up in Spanish Harlem. I mean, a really hard place to grow up. His mother was disabled. She was disabled because 
four minute tactor. So she didn't, couldn't hold a job and they went farther and farther into poverty and all the things that go with that. But this young man said, there's a way out for me and that's through education. And he applied himself and over time he received a PhD and then became an attorney, a JD, and studied and really was what I would call an intellectual. I asked him, what did you learn in your circumstance, in your situation? He said, I studied the universal truths espoused by Martin Luther King about human dignity, lifting up men and women to human dignity. He said, you know, that around the world, all the problems that are there, all the problems that are associated, all the people with different philosophies and theologies, if you use the common denominator of human dignity, you could solve a lot of problems. So I said, well, what are you doing with this idea? And how are you advancing it? He said, oh, we, we've started learning centers in China. We've started learning centers in Europe. We've started learning centers in Great Britain and America. Because, you see, it's for the common good. It's for the good of all. These three conversations led me to statureresponsibility.com, jointheapplause.com, and goodofall.org, and a book by Brennan Burchard, The Charge. You may want to review those. So there you have it. Conversations do matter. You know, there'll be a time in each one of our lives that we start reflecting and we start thinking about all the great things that happened and all the highs and lows, the great achievements, the people that showed up, and we'll ask ourselves some questions. Did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? So this would be my charge and my challenge to everyone. Have conversations and get involved. Keep working, keep doing, keep striving, and keep dreaming because those conversations and your involvement can change the world. Thank you.